Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe before watching today's video. In early 2026, just as global chip foundry giants were solidifying their positions in advanced process technologies, a surprising new development emerged from China's chip industry. On January 4, NextChip, boasting the title of China's third largest wafer foundry, officially approved its Phase 4 project, investing a staggering 35.5 billion renminbi to build a 12-inch wafer production line with a monthly capacity of 55,000 wafers. Unlike the advanced process markets targeted by international chip foundry giants, NextChip announced its entry into the 28-nanometer process market, planning to fully develop its capabilities in both the 40-nanometer and 28-nanometer fields. This announcement didn't come from Silicon Valley or Sinshu, Taiwan, but from Hefei, China. Under the increasing technological blockade imposed by the US and Western countries, a young company less than 10 years old is accelerating its expansion into the chip foundry business. This is not only a powerful rebuttal to external doubts, but also demonstrates why so many countries around the world, unlike China, are not pursuing a complete semiconductor industry chain. To understand the deeper meaning behind this 35.5 billion renminbi investment, China shouldn't just watch from the sidelines, but must understand the underlying implications. The name Nextchip might still be unfamiliar to many outside the industry. Compared to established giants like TSMC and Samsung, it is indeed a junior player. This company was only founded in Hefei in May 2015, making it just 10 years old. In the semiconductor industry, which emphasizes technological accumulation, 10 years is often only enough time to get started. However, according to Trendforce publicly released global wafer foundry revenue rankings, Nextchip has firmly entered the global top 10, often fluctuating between 8th and 9th place, and is firmly in 3rd place domestically, second only to SMIC and Huahong Group. It is the absolute leader in the global LCD display driver chip foundry market and the number one in security CIS chip shipments. Unlike international giants vying for advanced process technologies, Nextchip is focusing on the 28 nanometer process chip, which is considered by many to be an outdated technology. In the semiconductor field, 28 nanometers is known as the golden process or long life node. Compared to TSMC's 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers chip manufacturing processes, the 28 nanometers process has consistently maintained a perfect balance between chip cost and performance. The display driver chips in your OLED phone, the chips in your smart TV, the power management chips, PMIC, in your new energy vehicle, and even most Internet of Things, IoT, devices all utilize 28 nanometers to 40 nanometers processes. It's safe to say that, except for mobile phone main processors and computer CPUs, 90% of smart devices in our daily lives rely on this node. This expansion by Crystal Integrated Circuit is precisely targeting OLED driver chips, high-end CIS image sensors, and logic chips. These are precisely the areas where the demand for domestic substitution is most urgent. Data shows that with the popularization of AI phones and AI computers, and China's new energy vehicle production exceeding 10 million units, the demand for these mid-to-high-end mature process chips is exploding exponentially. However, a significant portion of high-end screen driver chips and IoT chips in the domestic market still rely on products supplied by foreign companies. Crystal Integrated Circuit's investment in this process node aims to further increase the domestic market share of chip products. Some might ask, can't foundries like SMIC also provide mature process manufacturing services? Indeed, competition in the domestic market for mature process technologies is becoming increasingly fierce, and many manufacturers have begun to lower prices to secure market share. However, in the entire chip foundry industry, China's mature process chip capacity only accounts for about 30% of the global market share. 
For China to develop a complete industrial chain, it must further increase its market share. Expanding the chip manufacturing capacity of mature process technologies is crucial for China to quickly enter the advanced process field. It would be very difficult for SMIC alone to achieve a technological breakthrough. Moreover, SMIC itself needs to purchase equipment from overseas semiconductor equipment companies, while a large portion of the equipment used in crystal integrated circuits expanded mature process capacity is designed and manufactured by domestic manufacturers. Only through expanding domestic production and procuring localized equipment can the bottleneck problem in high-end chips be solved with the highest efficiency. This expansion plan also reveals why no one dares to pursue a complete industrial chain like China. Simply expanding the production of mature 28 nanometers process technology requires a staggering 35.5 billion yuan in investment. Looking at Europe and Japan, they also experienced a period of glory in the 1980s and 90s, but later, in pursuit of higher profit margins, they divested their manufacturing operations, retaining only design or equipment businesses. What was the ultimate result? When the supply chain crisis hit, they couldn't even produce automotive chips, forcing car manufacturers to halt production. China, however, is taking a completely different path, a path made possible by the inherent advantages of its national system. Taking the fourth phase of CXMT, Changshin Memory Technologies, as an example, this is not just about building factories, it's also driving the collective entry of upstream domestic equipment, such as etching machines from Nora Technology, and domestic materials the photoresists, electronic specialty gases. This kind of integrated breakthrough in the industrial chain is something that no single country or company can replicate. China will gradually shift from a buyer's market to a seller's market, gradually gaining global pricing power for low to mid-range chips. With increasingly fierce competition in mature process technologies, some companies will inevitably accelerate their layout in advanced process technologies. At that time, domestic semiconductor equipment and raw materials will achieve breakthroughs first, followed by a comprehensive breakthrough across the entire industrial chain. Therefore, CXMT is not just a foundry, it will also become a proving ground for domestic equipment. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave comments and discuss.